Jason Gerhardt. I am D-Bar Desserts in Denver, Colorado. And I am here to show you a recipe that I feel you have to have in your arsenal if you want to be your own pastry chef. Meringue. I know people freak out about it. It gets over whipped, it breaks, it falls, it's the, it's the what? The make or break it item of a souffle. But guess what? It's actually quite simple. It's only two ingredients. The classic ratio for meringue is one and a half to one. Sugar to egg whites. Let's put the sugar in, the, in this little uh, water bath situation we have first. And I only want to do that because I don't want to burn the egg white on a hot bowl, right? Now, all I've done is taken a bowl over some hot water that fits nicely. Not a lot of steam is escaping. Um, you don't want the bottom of the bowl to touch the water, though. You don't want it to get too, too hot, right? Egg white's right on top of there. So for me, I did six ounces of sugar, four ounces of egg white for this recipe. If you can find glucose, you can find that these days in specialty markets. Glucose has only got about 78% of the sweetening power of sugar. While you're whisking, uh, tell us what you miss about Chicago the most. What do I miss about Chicago? I really, I miss the food scene in Chicago. I was in Chicago at a time when it was just kind of growing and uh, when I was there in the beginning with Jackie Pfeiffer uh, opening the Sheridan Chicago Hotel and Towers, I think Chicago was still kind of a steak, steak and potato city. Well, now look at it. It's crazy. I, I miss that. Uh, I miss summers. I know it sounds silly because the winters are so harsh, but what I love about Chicago more than anything is how much use people make of the good weather when they have it. Yeah. There's just street festivals and food festivals and markets and... And what do you, ball on the beach, just awesome. And what do you think about the Four Seasons? Uh, they got rid of Seasons. It's now going to become uh, a casual place called Allium. See, that's what I... Listen, you know, the rumor in uh, Four Seasons, Ritz Carlton, going around, like, fine dining is dead, and people don't want to do that, and people want fun dining. Listen, I, I spent some... Uh, from Mark, from Chef Mark down, I spent some blood, sweat, and tears on Seasons. But I think it's I think it's probably accurate. It's probably what people need. Yeah. Um, when you get a, you get a fine dining restaurant up off the street and people find it hard to get to, I think it's kind of hard to make that successful. Can you get a good Chicago hot dog here? You know, people say you can. <laughs> it's not really a yeah. Chicago dog. All right. The closest one I've found is Steve Snappin' Dogs over on Colfax. He's got like 40 or 50 kinds of dogs. And right. i got to say, his, his Chicago dog's pretty good. But when I was in Charlie Trotter's, you know that, that crappy little place on Armitage? Like, it seemed like it always tasted better after 2 a.m. That, yeah, you can't get that kind of dog. And you heard Trotter's is closing in August. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, can you imagine the, just talking about getting bum rushed to, and, and only four days from now till August. Right, right. right. So, uh, who okay. knows, I'm, I might not even get in before it's all said and done. All right, so what do you got going? So, here we are. This is the egg white and the sugar. I've warmed it up a bit. Now, one of the dilemmas is when is it ready to whip? And, uh... It's really not that hard. This is a little bit graphic, but this is my, I just use my fingers, I reach in. What you don't want to feel is any more graininess. And honestly, it should be kind of a little snotty, kind of warm and snotty, right? But as soon as you don't feel any of the grains of sugar inside, just, you just, whoops, that's messy. You just feel smooth, see what I mean? It's kind of a gross descriptor, but it's really accurate. I'll put it on my five quart mixer, right? Now, you can see this, Peaks are starting to stiffen up, starting to have some stability. I like to start my mixer on low first and then kind of increase it as it goes along. Use it as the meringue that we toast with the blowtorch for our lemon tart. I think a lemon tart is like what I test every pastry chef around the world for. If you've got a lemon tart in your case, I'm going to get it. Because if you can make a good dough, you can make a good emulsion, a lemon cream, and you can make a proper meringue, you can probably do 70% of all pastry that you have to do. It's a really good barometer to see if the people know what they're doing, right? Mm. We also use it for uh, little pipe meringue cookies. It's awesome for uh, cake, seven minute icing. It's what it's the meringue that you find outside of Baked Alaska. Super versatile. And when it doesn't really feel warm anymore, then I'm, I'm probably good to go. Let's take a peek in the peek. You want to have what the French call a bird beak. See that? Kind of looks like an eagle, like an eagle's beak. Yep. So not not super stiff, but a nice, shiny, beautiful meringue on the lemon tart. A lot of people have crazy piping skills. This is a good little shortcut I, I like to use for the for the lemon tart. Just use an ice cream scoop. Put an ice cream scoop on top. 
Let's take this, seal the edges. Spike it. You could use a spoon for this, you could use an offset spatula. Now where did you learn how to do this? This is just, you know, when I worked with with uh, all the guys that did my training, like Jackie and Sebastian, we would pipe beautiful uh, St. Honoré tips. Not everybody can do that. I like the negative space of this and kind of the randomness of this. Any other women rank tart? This is exactly how we sell it in the case of D-Bar. Crunchy, creamy, sweet, acidic. It's just like the ideal little dessert. Uh, listen, everything started for me in pastry in Chicago. It's a huge place in my heart. I was at the Sheridan and Charlie Trotters the Four Seasons. Uh, every now and then I have to go back to Chicago and, you know, Jackie and Sebastian have to kiss the ring. That's how it works in the pastry <laughs> world, right? So. All right, thanks. My pleasure.